We're back for more Zedillion adventures. Hello, good sir. What can I assist you with? Tell me about the next chamber. The second chamber of Zedillion is the Chamber of Avarice. The adventurers will have to overcome their feelings of greed as they set their eyes upon the huge piles of treasure locked behind that gate. You may choose to spring a fire trap and cause them great harm as they stand before the gate. Or you can fill the chamber with hundreds of keys and watch them frantically <laughs> search for the correct one. Always a crowd pleaser. Why is it that the mania options is just You're so much better? Well so Every time. Every fucking time. Oh, look at that. Look, uh, I told you. Treasure. Let's have at it, Sindelius. Obviously a trick to waste our time. <coughs> I'll know it when I see it. Yes, it must be here. They're all fake. Just come with me now. Find it. Yes, I must find the key. Rich beyond all my dreams. <laughs> ah, suit yourself. <laughs> no, all, all that's left is the orc. Too bad none of those keys fit the lock. <laughs> Ooh, that's just fucking dirty. I see Lord Sheagorath chose wisely when he selected you to liberate Zedillion. Now, how may I con- Tell me about the final one. The third chamber of a Zedillion is the Chamber of Anathema. Its contents are designed to make sure it's the final encounter. The adventurers will be subject to horrors beyond their imagination. Visions of repugnance, death, and malevolence reside in this room. That's fucked. If you wish to bring ruin to your victims, you may choose to animate some of the corpses and watch as they satiate their hunger. <laughs> or we can create the illusion of the adventurers dying and his spirit rising from his corpse. Good fun to be had for all. Why is it that the mania option is always the just best? Just as suddenly as we kill him, we revive the adventurer. There are few minds that can stand this type of torture. God damn. You're doing quite well so far. Keep it up. Fucking hell. I don't want to keep doing this option, but it's just... Remark, steady. You've been through worse before. What more could this place possibly throw at you? I don't know, man, but I want Don Fang. So. <laughs> what? How in oblivion can I be dead? This. this is impossible. Nothing killed me. I didn't even get a chance to fight. No chance to defend myself? No chance for battle? Why? Who? Impossible. This is impossible. Grimok has never lost a fight. Never. <laughs> That's fucked. I can't be dead. I just can't be. You've made short work of the intruders. Sheagorath should be proud to have such an efficient apprentice. Now, if you'll step on the last teleporter pad, I will meet you in the reception chamber so we can recover your earnings. 
please. I like how it's very clearly a pulley system, by the way. I have some things for you. No. Oh. something I can stop, Agata. As is the tradition, you are to be awarded a focus crystal as a token of your fine work. I'll have it sent to the palace and placed in the main hall if you wish to take a look at it. You spoke of earnings? Oh, yes, of course. It seems a most unusual weapon was recovered from the orc warrior, Gromok. Never seen anything like it, but perhaps his journal can give you some useful information. Beyond that, take whatever else you need from the recovery chest. You've earned it. You're free to go at any time, of course, just up that hallway. Good luck to you. Good luck. Nothing else? All right. What the hell? Why am I... Why am I over encumbered? What else did you add? You give me a book. Oh, he automatically gave me Dust Fang. Okay, fair. <laughs> mm. Yum. Oh, so glad we'll be able to use this now. All right, so let's put on the old backpack and we'll look at his uh, journal. So we got Sindelius's bolt caster. And a ring. This is also quite good. So, yes. Thank you, everyone. All right, let's look through Gromick's journal. Rain's hand, third hour, four thirty-one. We were finally able to convince that idiot rogue Lewin that it was a waste of time. It was time to give up that strong box of money he stole from Lala's quality merchandise in Anvil and ditch it outside the castle. All the seed he brought in the group was starting to chafe, chaff. Sindelius pretty much sat him down and made him do it because I was ready to punch, put my foot in his face. I knew he's a rogue, but we're adventurers. We get our loot from raiding old crypts and ruins and places that ain't got guards. He can be a real horse's ass sometimes, I tell ya. Yeah, this is pretty long. Damn, I forgot how long this was, but uh, you, can, you can read it on your own. But basically, after a while, yeah, there's some group tension, and then eventually stuff happens. My new double sword. Sindelius and Lewin are even more confident now that we are such a powerful weapon among us. We've gathered a ton of loot the last three days. Nothing compares to this. We're going to head north and explore the area around Nimbin Bay today. Hope that something else like this turns up on our adventures and I'm going to retire. And here is Dustfang. Uh, so it changes based on the time of day. Oh god. Not again. Why, Mom? Hold on, guys. I have something to deal with. Before exiting Zedillion, I was attacked by three unusual beings. I should ask Kilibin if he knows anything. We get, they have some of their own weapons, so there's the Heart of Order, and uh, the Pure Order Swords, which also have quite a few friggin' uses. I don't even remember that. That was quite a battle. I hope you are uninjured. What were those? You've not heard the legends? How could that be? Those beings, as you call them, aren't beings at all. They are the soulless abominations known as the Knights of Order. Their attraction to the Resonator isn't surprising. It was built from one of the obelisks that dot the Isles they seem to have an affinity for. You must proceed to Sher Gorath at once and tell him the Knights have returned. Quickly now, go! You've certainly done your part protecting Zedillion. Should Sher Gorath ever decide to visit, I'll be sure to inform him of your proficiency. Tell me about the knights. There isn't much more to say about these soulless creatures. No one knows why they invade or where they're from, but they aren't from the Isles. They haven't walked among us in many hundreds of years. Now that they've returned, there's no telling what may happen to us. My best advice is to destroy them on sight. 
they wouldn't hesitate to do the same to you. Now that Zedillion is up and running, I'll endeavor to keep it as clean and tidy as the day it was created. Thanks. Hasten back to the palace. Ch That's a simple. It's a simple one. Very simple. And that was so I had the pure order, right? Yeah. Let's take a look at that real quick. Very simple looking thing, but it is it's not bad, really. It really isn't. But I like my dust fang. Actually, let's hotkey it. And, uh. Yes, so it just changes, you can see. So, now it's not dust fang. It was, they're, they're, no, sorry. No, we're not, we're not there yet. We're not. I had a stupid moment. It happens. Here, hold on. Let's first go as a crucible and wait for a bit. Ooh, frames, hello. I think that there's a uh, an inn here. I'd like to sleep in it so I can get some rest at XB. But I'm not... Oh, wait. Tap house? I mean, alcohol, drink, sleep, what's the difference? Hello? Why is nobody here? Where the fuck are all the NPCs, man? Sesame. There we go. Why don't go? You just do I... go? We don't want any trouble. That's nice. I don't even know if there's anybody here. I'm so fucking confused. Where's sickly Bernice? Why can't I just... Whatever. Anyway, what I do want to show you is uh, the alter ego of the sword. Which... Should have already equipped. No? There we go. Donfang. Woohoo! So it changes and it resets the uh, damage. It's very nice. That oh, Shnar. beggar is following me. He's going to eat me. I just know it. Don't look. He's standing right over there. Watch for them. Hi. Here's Ushnar's dog. Um, I'm trying to look for the smithy. Yeah, see, this sickly Bernice treats it as a fucking... Whatever. There's a fucking... Where's the goddamn... Somewhere. Oh, I know where Sickly Bernice was. <clears throat> I know where she was now. I like nice dog. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Mad gods. Walk with our lord. <laughs> oh. Go on. That cat big. Yes, he's the one. Isn't he scary? I wish someone would just make him disappear. Yeah, has every right to be there. I bet you're a cat lover too. See you later. 
Yes. Goodbye. What do you mean by disappear? You haven't. You would do that for me? I would do just about anything for you if you make him go away. Permanently. For good. Never to be seen again. He's still a. Goodbye. Yeah? He has a nice dog. I like dogs. <laughs> Leave Crucible, you sir. Here's a hundred gold. I wonder if there are nice dogs in Bliss. I think I'll go see. Take care. I fixed your problem. You haven't seen that. He's gone? Truly? Oh, thank you. I know what you need. You need a dog. I happen to have one of my old ones still lying around. I'll send it to you. Thanks. Goodbye. What do you see you later? I saw the Zaxa and I nagged it too. Oh, people. <laughs> Where the hell do I go for this fucking smithy? Greetings. Is this it? No, I don't think it's Earl Errol's Mysteries. This might be it. Museum of Oddities. That, it's Cutter's Weapons, but what the hell is the Museum of Oddities? Hi. Is this your first time to the museum? Perhaps you would care for a tour. I am the curator of the Museum of Oddities, Una Armina. Have we met? You look familiar. Anyway, I'm always looking for new exhibits, so remember me when you come across anything odd. Oddities. I'm always looking for new oddities to add to my collection. Anything unusual, bizarre, strange, or disturbing, bring it to me. I do pay a nominal finder's fee, but of course, the real reward is your contribution to posterity. Do you have anything that you'd like to contribute to the museum? Nope. Well... Give me a tour. Would you like a tour of the museum? Yes. Wonderful. Follow me and I'll show you around my little collection of oddities. Look closely and you'll see a tiny skull. These pugmies used to live here in the Shivering Isles until they were all eaten by grummites, poor dears. I don't know why her line just cut out. Here's a real oddity for you. An arm of one of the gatekeepers. This one was killed by... Oh, I forget now. A lovely specimen, in any case. Up here is a little beauty. The Ring of Desiccation. Walk on water and breathe underwater at the same time. <laughs> Odd, if you think about it for a minute. Oh, hi, Ushnar. I used to think. Why are you here? See you later. Am I gonna get my dog? I hope you. I hope you're enjoying the museum. <sighs> Welcome to the. All right. Goodbye. Where the fuck is my dog? Right, Cutter's weapons. Let's see what we can make here. They call me Cutter. For a truly inspired blade, I can forge madness ore. Here, hold on to this parchment. It lists what I need. Do any magical items? Tradition dictates before each master smith dies. She hides these magical molds in the world, like pouring salt into a wound. Over time, they soak in magical energies from the world around them, like you suck blood from a cut. I don't think you do that. Bring me a matrix and enough ore, and I will forge you a new item and bleed the magic of the matrix into it. 
Spirits of ancient souls are trapped in the ore. Find it in old ruins. Also, grumites are especially attracted to it. It's a supple and flexible ore, yet it holds a good edge. I can shape the sharpest of blades from it. I can also create magical items. What shall I forge for you? So you only have one magical thing. Oh wait, no. Uh, never mind. Hold on. Was it one of the armor? Yeah. Um. Hmm, let me think about that for just one second. Where is? Um. No, you got it on display. This this does seem something out of Dark Souls. Now that you think about it, and it sounds like my dog has arrived, and it's uh the skinned hound. <laughs> As you can see. Um, so now I am curious. Can I tame it? Ah, good. Isn't there a way to, uh, info? Okay, sure. Whatever. Yeah, so the problem is it doesn't automatically re-equip the stuff, but I want to see what the... Something's... Blasted thief! <sighs> Alright, let me see what the Warhammer looks like. The person's head contains many elegant structures. Alright, sure. Bye. Grand Madness Hammer. That's pretty thick. Mazoga. What can I do? Happy birthday. Oh, it's worse than the ice blade of the monarch. Oh, is that quick save right there? I bet. Mm. Definitely another time then. Oh. Okay. Kind of strange how they have that set up. Let's go talk to Shao and then end the episode. Hello. Want to buy a stick? I got a fresh one right here. No? Then what can I do for you? No stick. I would buy a stick. The young folk just don't appreciate a good stick anymore. <laughs> what? I mean, I'd buy a stick. Like a good solid stick. Has lots of purpose. Like beating people up. I'm just saying. Nah. I think I'm good. I'm gonna speak nice and slowly. Choose my words carefully and all that. Shay, oh buddy! Well now, what news do you have to report? I was attacked by knights. So soon? Not a surprise, I suppose. We'll get to that later. No need to burden your little brain with it now. And Zedillion! Since you're standing here, I assume you've succeeded. Or you're terribly confused. Or really lacking in good judgment! Zedillion functions one more. Wonderful! Time for a celebration! Cheese for everyone! I can get behind that. Wait! Scratch that! Cheese for no one. That can be just as much of a celebration if you don't like cheese, true? You've run a maze like a good little rat, but no cheese for you yet. Oh, well, maybe a little. I've granted you a new spell, the ability to summon Haskell, my Chamberlain, to aid you in your travels. He knows a lot, more than he knows. What did he mean by this? In fact, 
Give it a try. Summon our friend to you now. I'll wait. Ah, our Lord has granted you the power to summon me. How wonderful for me. <laughs> When summoned, I can offer advice on your current endeavor. I imagine it's up to you what to do with my wisdom. Do try to use your power sparingly. I have duties to which I must attend. Rather more important than shepherding you around, I'm sure. Isn't that a hoot? <laughs> I love it myself. Best part of being a Daedric Prince, really. Go ahead, try it again. He loves it! Oh. Ah, summoned again. My lord does so enjoy that, as is his prerogative. I'll assume you're done for now. <laughs> good, good! You'll need all the help you can get if you're going to defeat Jigalag and stop the Grey March. <laughs> Oh, don't expect to summon dear Haskell anywhere but in the realm. He dislikes leaving my presence. I get that sometimes. Who the hell is Jigalag? The Daedric Prince. The Daedric Who? Prince of. What order. the hell? Or biscuits? No, no order. Yeah. And not in a good way. Bleak, colorless, dead, boring, boring. The Daedric Prince huh, of Order. If you hit one on the numpad, it resets no, the no conversation. Order. Huh. And not a fan of my work, I can tell you. Hates it, hates me. A bit single minded, if you take my meaning. You have seen his knights? Not the warm and cuddly sort. <laughs> not a bit of original thought in their lifeless husks. So, you're going to help me stop him. Help me help you help me. How? Again with the niggling little details. Hold your tongue, or I will. <laughs> we'll get to that all in due time. For now, you've got other work to do. With the Grey March. An event. A movement. An apocalypse of sorts. Happens every era at the end of every era. Which is to say, now. The Grey March comes, and Jigalag walks. Or runs. I never skips, sidles, or struts. And mostly he just destroys everything around him. <laughs> what would you ask of me now? Ask? Ask? I don't ask! I tell! This is my realm, remember? My creation, my place, my rules! Look at you! No concept of what you've stumbled into. No sense of place. You don't even really know where you are, do you? I suppose few really do, but that's beside the point. We're going to give you a taste of where you found yourself. You're going to learn. I like learning. Two halves, two rulers, two places. Meet and greet. Do what they will, so you know what they're about. The Duke of Mania and the Duchess of Dementia. Seek them out and let them show you what new Sheath is. You might be surprised. Once you understand what my realm is, you might understand why it's important to keep it intact. And maybe you'll make some friends along the way. That's always nice. I agree. So what can you tell me about the Great March? It's Jigalag's time, and not a good time at all. You're going to help me stop it. First, though, you need to get your feet wet. I can't expect it to save the place if you don't even understand it. So speak to my... Okay, got it. Tell me about Jiggles. Another Daedric Prince. Not a nice one. I don't think any of the other princes like him, actually. I mean, Malakath <laughs> is more popular at parties. <laughs> and Malakath is not popular at parties. 
tell me about the obelisks. Seen them about, have you? Odd things. They've always been here, but they're not of here, if you take my meaning. You'll see those Knights of Ardor around them during the Grey March. Drum to them like flies to honey! Or rotting flesh. Ever wonder why flies like both? <laughs> Best not to ask. The Duchess of Dementia! Ever wary? Ever worried? A prisoner in her own house, in a way. And a delightful conversationist, really. A bit harder to meet than Thaden. Consider making an appointment. <laughs> the long reigning Duke of Mania. A master of merriment, if you will. Or if you won't. I suspect it wouldn't matter to him. All right. Ta, come visit again, or I'll pluck out your eyes. <laughs> Good. I was looking forward to that. All right. Next time. Thank you all for watching.